All right, it's been quite a while since I've posted a video. The last time I uploaded, it was all P500 stuff. Now we have some major P500 stuff and some of the common Polaris stuff. So this is the buggy everybody wants to see right now. And you can look on Project Ajax and you can see this buggy going or outcast fab works if you look on their website the six inch lift is now live i i believe i don't go on there very often but released two days ago, released two days ago according to cameron cash this is cameron cash's buggy this is my buggy team smiley i've been on youtube a little while uh, last video I put, I had a Pioneer 500 and I ended up going big with it, whatever. I'll give you a rundown on this, then I'm gonna let Cameron Cash give you a rundown on this. This is my 2020 High Lifter uh, Ranger Polaris, of course. I've got the High Lifter Apex arms up front, GDP eight inch portals, I got 37s on 22s, basic stuff, windshield, Hayes Fab, give him a shout out for the headlights. I've got the high phonics um, sound bar in there. I've got LEDs in the roof. You can see those there. Um, it's got a three inch high lifter bracket lift on it. Um, 37s and 22s, like I said. On the back, I'm still waiting on my uh, rear control arms, inch and a half diameter. But uh, I already turned over and busted one of my tail lights. You can see scratches there. So I went ahead and got the uh, LED blacked out stuff. They look really good fit, especially with the black plastic. Really nice, got my cooler strapped in right there. Got the whips put on. It's a basic uh, high lifter Ranger build. Nothing, it's basically bone stock besides the portals, the front arms and the tires. And of course the little cosmetic stuff like the headlights. It does really, really well. No belt slip, no this, no that. It turns over, it keeps going. He flips me back over, we keep riding. That's how it goes. No light bar, I just use that. This is a very basic build. I've gotten out of riding a little bit because of life, but it does exactly what I want it to do. So, this buggy, this is currently the biggest Pioneer 500 in the world. This is what everybody wants to see. So, I'm gonna let Cameron Cash, you can look him up on Facebook. This is him right here. This is his buggy. Like I say, Project Ajax. You can look him up on YouTube. He just released a video, two-part video, um, at Fat Daddy's in Waycross, Georgia, of this buggy going through some of the worst stuff that's over there. So, I'm gonna let Cameron tell you about it, tell you what's going on, what's happening, what's coming, all this stuff. Cause there are people going against uh, what he has, saying all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's, it is what it is. But, with at any rate, everything's still together. Everything still turns. There are no hard parts broken, and it will ride. So, here you go. Tell us about it. All right, so we got the new Outcast 6 inch lift, custom. Custom colors, I went, I had too much blue on here, so I had to get rid of some of it. So that's why we got silver control arms. Got front and rear link bars. Just keep down. everything together. All right, we got some Himes in there with the lower outcast, everything. Right. Tie rods there. One inch bracket lift on the shocks. Sitting right now on 42s and 24s. Uh, overall, it's got 33 inches in the back. 31 because of the subframe here. Let Smiley will show you. Yep. Subframe we'll that comes down here oh, that yeah. makes it 31. If it wasn't there, it'd be 33. As you can see, this lift, I didn't even really know it until now, but you can see that subframe, the tabs drop down, and you're going to lose just a smidgen of ground clearance, if you can even call it that. I would say no ground clearance, but anyway. Yeah, if, uh, you guys get new shocks they're worn out uh, i've been riding it for so long the shocks need to be replaced uh 46s are coming i got, I got it geared so low it turns these 42s like they're old stock 
but just put the uh, eight inch 60 percent portals on custom custom backer plates from jb customs shout out to him for getting these done for me but uh yeah that's about since the last video that's the newest thing we've got on there the forms like a mug y'all go on there on project ajax check him out part two will be coming soon of the money pit but yeah there's uh, a couple times i did get stuck but them are holes nobody hit all day, so I just had to push all the mud out and go back through and make it. So yeah, out here it's really out down there, self. I mean, this is this lift is stout. If it survives me, it'll survive any one of y'all. <laughs> and that is very true. This buggy has been broken a whole lot. A In bunch. one year, I don't think there might not be any stock parts left on this thing from when I bought it. Everything's been replaced. Four rear diffs. I mean, it's. I've got it right though now. Yeah, it's but. uh, it's been just, just for. I mean, just, just look. This is a Pioneer 500. Look at that suspension. I mean, that's uh, that's, that's three almost right at three foot of ground clearance. Once the new shocks, we're going with Elka shock stage fives and four six inch wide bkt's once that goes on there i'll have exactly well, might be a little bit over three foot of ground clearance on a p5 so, so there you go. really outdone themselves you know you got p7 demon axle so you ain't got to run custom cups or nothing like that it's all honda stuff do you want to do you want to talk about that what you had to do to run these eights on a p5 with these p700 axles that's a secret. It, okay. All right. It's a little bit of a secret. We're going to let it ride. But if any of you message me on Facebook directly, I will. I'll let you know. But Well, there you go. Get with Cameron Cash on the secret to making these 8-inch portals. As you can see, Pioneer 500. No exhaust right now. Doing some work. 8-inch portal. 60%. The newest they got. P700 axle, demons. Double plunges. Double plunging, so they fit, they work. He's been through some stuff. Again, Project Ajax, watch his videos. You're gonna see this buggy in action, doing what it does. Now some people ask, you know, right now I could clear 50s on there if I wanted to, but the plane ain't to go that big. Uh, it's a little bit of specs of the lift. Instead of being straight out forward, you got two inches of rear rake in the back. Then the portals also give you another two inches of rear rake. The front is three inches forward from stock. So it's three inches forward plus two, so that's five inches forward. And you can clear 50, no problem. Yeah, so just for example, look at the rake on the, you see how far out that portal bracket is from the ball joint there. So, I mean, you're gaining some major wheel clearance on the back end. Some people have doubts whether they want to go to long travel. And I'm not hating on Joe's kit or nothing like that. He makes a really good kit. And if you want a real soft, smooth ride, that's what you go with. But without cast, you ain't cutting any tabs off. You're getting all the forward rake without having to move the tabs. And you get the clearance. Now, if I put Walker Evans on here, and softened them up all the way down, it would work just the same as a long travel. But I would still get the ground clearance and the forward rake. So me personally, I've always repped Outcast my whole life. So that's what I recommend in my opinion. But some of you may like the long travel and that's perfectly fine. He makes a real good kit. But for the type of riding I like to do, ground clearance is key. So that's what I would recommend. Right. Right, and that's a very good point. A lot of people like to have a lot of suspension travel and it will it gives get you. you a lot smoother ride, you know, but for what I do, I don't need the smooth ride. I need right. ground it, clearance it, and it needs, yeah, this this goes through mud. He, he built it to go through mud. Will it climb out of a rut here and there? Absolutely. Will it turn over? 100%. 100%. Will mine turn over? Every time, but that's part of it. That's what it's That's what bogging's all about. Right. And you know, articulation on a P5, if you have it, you are a 
man among men because you see how small those shocks are and you see how big this buggy is man that's a big buggy look at how tall that's a six foot two dude right there he's at the hood of it come on it's a little bit past my shoulders on the hood i have to get a plow gallon bucket just to get up there and work up under uh, on top of it so here's the buggy that a lot of people have been wanting to see there's an underneath shot i'll give you a shot of the the uh link bars under there connected a lot of people have been asking about this thing and uh there's only one other buggy and i'm not gonna ask cameron to comment on it but i will because i don't have a p5 anymore but hunter bennett is currently on eight inch portals as well he on, was the first to do it he was the first he to, was the first to be on and eight now inch. i am not gonna lie to you he has a built buggy now that is a buggy that would root he's on 44s cut scoop and cut it's a bad machine it is it, really it is. is and it's a really good looking machine i love the look of his buggy and hopefully soon we'll be able to see we plan um, on riding all together sometime he's gonna perform just as good as this one yeah yeah it will and he's got it's all about the gearing in the p5 game he ain't got no horsepower she ain't going nowhere fast 16 miles an hour is how fast mine goes now in fifth gear so before it hits the rev limiter so so there you go this is the biggest currently unless anybody uh, uh you know comes against that as far as ground clearance hunter does have bigger tires and that is a nice buggy i like the look of it myself but this is mine i might this horsepower i might get those 44s on there and we might get serious but <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Man, this thing stopped. I enjoy it. He enjoys his. We got ropes, we got winches, we got hooks, and we can pull each other where we need to go. So there you go. That's Cameron Cash's buggy, Project Ajax. It's on his channel. Check it out. This is my new buggy. I got new cameras coming. I'm going to try my best to start videoing again. I know I've let... Uh, I ain't gonna say I let anybody down. I enjoy video and it's just a lot. But anyway, there you go. Any questions, contact Cameron Cash on Facebook and he'll let you know any questions or get with Outcast Fabworks, all the hard parts on this buggy besides the diffs, everything else on there. Who is the portal plates from again? JB Customs. JB Customs. I wanna say where are they out of? Alabama. They're out of Alabama. If you Look want to run up on Facebook, there you go. JB Customs on Facebook. They can get you hooked up. You got that forward rake along with the lift. Get it going. And uh, there you go. Any questions? Get with Cameron Cash. Any questions about mine? You shouldn't have any because everybody under the sun has Polaris Rangers. So there you go.